Hello, the fifth gas giant. The what? I am not the fifth gas giant. I told you, Neptune. I don't want to be called that. You're so disrespectful. Neptune, why are you calling Planet Nine the fifth gas giant? She told us she doesn't like to be called that. Well, there are five gas giants here, and since Planet Nine is the fifth and farthest gas giant among us, I thought it made sense. Why don't you want to be called that anyway? I want to maintain my own distinct identity, separate from the narrative of the fully ejected fifth gas giant. Let me explain how we differ. The fifth gas giant was theorized to be ejected roughly 4.49 to 4.47 billion years ago due to gravitational interactions with Jupiter and Saturn. Meanwhile, I am a proposed planet that still exists in the solar system, orbiting far beyond Neptune. It's estimated to take 10 to 20,000 years to complete one orbit around the sun. Evidence for the fifth gas giant is based on its potential role in shaping orbits of the other Jovian planets and the Kuiper Belt. The evidence for my existence, however, comes from the observed clustering of extreme trans-Neptunian objects. The fifth gas giant is hypothesized to be an ice giant with a mass 10 to 36 times that of the Earth and a diameter of 47,000 kilometers. Meanwhile, I'm significantly lighter and slightly smaller than the fifth gas giant. I'm between 5 and 10 Earth masses and about 46,600 kilometers. Some speculate that the fifth gas giant might have ended up in a distant orbit, becoming synonymous with me. However, my estimated mass and size suggest I'm more of a mini Jovian planet. Alright, alright, I get it. I'm sorry for calling you the fifth gas giant, Planet 9. Hey, don't worry, just don't call me the fifth gas giant anymore. Okay, Neptune? Okay.